Yeah, this shelter practically in triage mode. More than 140 dogs rescued and brought here. The Orange County Animal Care Center now hustling to handle that surge. They're cute and cuddly, even a bit rambunctious. But take a closer look at these dogs and you'll notice some patches of fur missing. These four Shih Tzu-like dogs, just a fraction of the 140 removed yesterday from a home in Orange. The OC Animal Care Center now scrambling to deal with the flood of new dogs. It's an incredible feat to be able to uh, bring everybody in and get them all evaluated medically, um, get them all, getting them all treated, and of course, um, housing them and caring for them. The dogs were found in this multi-million dollar house in Orange. The Orange Police Department says the conditions inside were filthy. Some of the dogs covered in their own waste. One of the owners, Ed Reitkopp, is an attorney with this law firm in Cerritos. In a written statement, a representative for the firm says Reitkopp has been told not to come to work. Quote, we have many animal lovers at the firm who are troubled by the reported conditions and hope that all the rescued dogs are safe and healthy. Police say an animal cruelty investigation is underway. The Animal Control Agency saying that ongoing investigation means they can't comment on the condition of the dogs. But they're hoping to line up people to eventually adopt them or other dogs as the center is now packed. We were fortunate that over the last week we had over 170 adoptions um, just with the fee waiver, uh, which made some room, but obviously now we're back at capacity. The orange case, though, sparking an urgent community response. We probably have 500 pounds of food in these two cars. These San Clemente women jumping into action when they learned of all the dogs being removed. Two SUVs crammed full of donated dog supplies pulling up to the shelter. We've been working all night and woke up this morning and were able to meet at 8.15 at my house. Got all the orders of all the people that had, you know, given us stuff, loaded up our cars, and now we're here. Now, the dog owners have been hit with misdemeanor animal cruelty charges, but investigators say those charges may be bumped up to felonies. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.